we are seeing progress as some across the tri-state are given the go ahead to reopen, but with those social distancing requirements still mandated, it's making it nearly impossible for some big events to go on as planned. As businesses prepare to reopen in Kentucky, we're taking all the precautions. A familiar sound. Marking the unofficial start to summer is fading away, at least for right now. It's our most honored tradition. It's been going on for almost 100 years now. The decision to postpone it was probably the toughest decision we, we've had so far. The Dayton Memorial Day Parade is postponed. That decision announced on Sunday. With the large gathering of people this close to the plateauing, we didn't think it would be a wise decision. Mayor Ben Baker says the health risk, despite the slow reopening now happening in the tri-state, is too much as Governors Bashir and DeWine maintain the need to keep people socially distanced. Back in the Spanish flu, uh, Philadelphia had their parade and that caused a major spike in cases, so we didn't want to be the next Philadelphia. It's the same across the river, where for the time being, the sound of splashing water is replaced by the quiet chirping of birds. The challenge of the COVID-19 situation. It makes it a very, very challenging times for all of us. We have foreseen that there may have been a delay. Coney Island is postponing its May 22nd opening day. This is the first summer where the amusement park is solely focused on its water park. We're excited to be open. But for now, it's extending annual passes through the 2021 season. Both Edwards and Baker are now looking forward to a date when those summer experiences can get back to a new normal. We're hoping that when the time comes, people will come down and visit. Well, and have a great summer. July 4th possibility, uh, Veterans Day was also floated. I like that idea because... In Dayton, Mariel Carbone, WCPO 9 News.